like uh, if you were to I guess ask my my parents and stuff it's always been that I've been a quite annoying child in the sense that I always ask why 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 that kind of endless loop so I guess it's uh, in a nicer adjective would be curiosity and I think then this curiosity is kind of continued throughout until where I am now and um, yeah it's always the, the desire to understand a bit better and since in the same way that for example physics could arguably be the science of the early 20th century chemistry is very much that of the 21st and to better understand society I think chemistry is a big uh, driver of this and this is where it uh, all kind of goes towards I guess. It's the possibility of affecting almost every aspect of your life uh, positively or negatively, depending on how you decide to use it. This applies to most things, unfortunately. Um, but as much as you want to make amazing materials, for example, you also need to be able to deconstruct them efficiently and to be able to then re-put these values and these resources back into the economy. And the same chemistry that goes into making this it can be harnessed to valorize the residue. So I think it's, yeah, it's the general aspect of the fact that we live on a finite planet, I guess, and that we cannot continue with this linear economy. And I think chemistry, as much as it creates the problem, can also help to solve it. Yeah, I mean, I could be going, I mean, I guess most people here, when they could be going to industry and be earning a bit more than what you're getting here. So it's because you have a vocation, I guess. Uh, either you could be teaching or research or both, but I think it's that you want to make leave an impact uh, in the world and I think this is maybe the, my easiest way of doing it and through this research that I hope one day will result at least in some small way to a slightly better, uh, yeah, better, more circular and more equitable uh, world. I guess it's the diversity of it all, like you never really know where to start in some ways, you know, like uh, there's usually 20 different ways of tackling one problem. There's not one right way, but it's making sure that uh, whatever way you choose, that you do it right and that you're able to then compare against the other options to see if it was worth it or not. So you always get a bit surprised by what you have to do on a certain day, um, but in, usually in, good, in a good way. So sometimes you get unexpected mistakes that turn out to be very interesting and this kind of stuff. And I'll be honest, I think on the second level, it's the flexibility. Like, I, if you want to work from home one day and do something else, if you want to work remote, if you want to start a side project, um, this is all possible. I think, yeah, the dark side is considering the task of many of these uh, problems that we're trying to address through, all throughout Siseco, I think, is the short-termism of many of the contracts that we are being handed. So if you're talking about, like, oh, uh, Agenda 2030 or these kind of things, these are still seven, six years away. Theoretically, like how can a couple year contract really be a match the ambition of these goals? And sometimes it's, this is some of the more frustrating aspect, but this is how unfortunately it is in Europe in general. So I don't think it's a Portuguese problem per se, but it's uh, it, this kind of dichotomy is a bit difficult to handle. To be able to help at least either here or with a company or something, I don't know but help implement some of the research I'm doing now so that actually I can see it to the end and be proud of something that, you know, of this kind of decade of work and finally into the implementation, which is what I like to, to, to be seeing. I guess the, like, there's always the easy answer, like, oh, you know, be curious, be all this and so on. But I think at least for me, when I was doing this, is that initially you end up being very linked emotionally to your the, the results that you're getting in the laboratory so you go through a lot of uh, ups and downs that are very dependent on your on your work and the results that you're getting and positive positive results primarily so but it doesn't mean that you're not working well that you're not doing good science and all this just that sometimes things don't work out and it's important to dissociate your personal life from your work life and so that you can enjoy both fully and that you can go out, have some things with your friends, have some drinks, and then come back the next day and still be passionate about what you're doing and not let these hurdles kind of slow you down.